Pixel Film Studios presents FCPX Social Mega Pack, a social media production pack exclusively for Final Cut Pro. Fully customizable drag and drop social elements designed for any skill level. Select from hundreds of elements with free and frequent updates such as video channel tools, messages, social media graphics, video creator tools, 3D icons, lower thirds, end screens, emojis, devices, tags, and much more. What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I have a really special video for you guys, and that is going to be a really, really cool plugin for, for your videos. So whether you're going to be making vlogs, music videos, what have you, this is going to be a really cool plugin that you guys can use. Um, I will leave the plugin link down in the description, and the plugin is provided from Pixel Film Studios, so this video is sponsored by Pixel Film Before Studios. Before we begin with the tutorial, I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. All right, guys, so the plugin that I'm going to be reviewing is called the Social Media Mega Pack, and I will have it again linked down in the description. Um, now, if you want to, in case you want to end up buying it, please use my coupon code KINGPIXELPRO. I'll have it linked on the screen right now, or displayed on the screen rather. So, what you want to do first is of course install it it's very simple it's just a simple installer that you install just make sure Final Cut Pro 10 is closed when you're installing the plugin it will also install any necessary fonts um, so once you install the plugin then you can open up Final Cut Pro 10 this plugin doesn't work by the way on the new M1 chip so just make sure that you're on 10.4.7 or above as well in Final Cut Pro 10 and you should be good to go so what you want to do to access the actual plugin is just go into the titles and generators over here and you want to go into the titles and just go down and find the Final Cut Pro 10 social mega pack right here and when you open that it contains over 560 different elements that is insane that's a lot this is honestly the biggest pack that I've ever reviewed um, in terms of uh, well from pixel film studios at least you're gonna have the elements here which is kind of cool so we have animated icons i'm not going to go through every single element because obviously that will take a very long time but i'll show you my personal favorites from the pack um, these are my personal ones but yours may vary of course so we have the animated icons so if i go through these really quickly um, i'm going to push play here on the space bar they're all animated which is really neat there's no actual added work on your end to do this which is kind of neat so you have a custom icon for instagram you have one for twitter all you're going to do is just drag and drop into the timeline you can also adjust its length by going into the um, end here and adjusting the length if i push play it's going to look like this very, very neat. And you can also change the settings within the parameters in this window. So if I were to go into the parameters, you can change the transform controls with this one, or you can go on the screen here and use the on-screen controls. And you can also adjust the location or position of this. I think right there is fine for now. And again, you can change the rotation as well as on this side here. I'm going to reset that. Uh, here we have the icon controls. You can change the color of this if you wanted to do more of like a yellow color. Uh, you can do that there as well. Um, you have the light controls. So if you can, if you turn this on, this will enable the vignetting. So we can go into light intensity. You can enable that or disable that if you don't like it. And you can change the fall off, which is, I guess, how how far you want this to. Um, disappear I suppose <laughs> uh, so we can I'm gonna turn that off for now I think it looks fine just how it is and you can also enable the drop shadow so if you think you want a drop shadow if you think you need it then you can enable it so we can increase the opacity increase the blur and the distance to create a nice uh, well a nice <laughs> little uh, drop shadow which I think looks a lot better in my opinion and you can also enable the text here uh, right there you can see we can add like at King Tuts Pro if you do my Instagram handle you will see it there if I push play at King Tuts Pro pretty cool so I'm gonna delete that one and show you the next one so we have Twitter again very very neat as you can see it's very simple and again you can adjust the length of this 
push play. All right, so the next category is gonna be in the emojis here, and these are, again, all animated, which is really cool. I, I haven't seen any plugins or packs that have actual animated emojis, at least good ones. So this is the first pack for me that I think is honestly the best one that has it, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna use this on a different clip just so you guys can see this. So um, we can move this over here, and you can also adjust the length if you think it's a little bit too long. Just trim that there, and then we can adjust the scale like so and do something like this. You can play around with something like that. And if I go back and I push play, it's gonna animate just like that, super clean. And if you want it to animate out, trim it and it goes away. Isn't that so cool? I think that's really cool. And I think I also made an emoji um, kind of tracking tutorial where you actually uh, track it on the person's face. So if you guys wanna watch that video, I'll have it linked down in the description, which is kinda of cool. A lot of people really enjoyed that video, so I suggest checking that one out. But again, you have different emojis here, pretty neat. So the next category would be follow screens here. Very simple to use. I'm gonna skip a couple of these just for the time being, but um, again, we have Instagram, we have SoundCloud, we have Snapchat, which is kinda of cool. Facebook, of course, can't forget that. TikTok which is pretty neat. So if I were to drag TikTok here and push play, it will kind of do a little short intro sort of, and, and then kind of put in your plug here. So you can change the text by going into, again, the inspector tab, go into the parameters and adjust all of these settings. So you can have the icon animate. If you don't want it to animate, you don't have to, it will just be still. I personally like it. So if I push play, it will kind of animate, which is kind of nice. You can change the icon scale. So you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. I like it a little bit bigger and you can change the bar length depending on how long the username is. You can enable the accents if you want to do that, which is the white area. So if I click on this, you can change the color here. And now if I go back, you're gonna see the, if I go back here, this will change right there. So if I were to click back on the orange color, you can change that to like yellow or whatever theme that you have for your YouTube channel or TikTok in this case. Um, you can do that. So mine's like a yellow orange or blue as well. I'm gonna leave it orange or like a yellow orange color. And to change the text, you can change it for the first one here, which is TikTok. And you can also change your username. So you can do King Tuts Pro. By the way, I do not have a TikTok. So the next one we have drop shadow controls. You can enable this if you want. You can turn it off if you don't like it. Um, and again, you can change the background color. You can do white or you can do pink. So you can do like a nice rosy pink color. So now if I push play, it will look just like that. Super, super cool. All right guys, so I wanna show you the next cool thing about this plugin and that's going to be the messages animation kind of effect. So this is the first plugin that I've seen that actually has this feature and it's so, so helpful and it makes your workflow a lot faster instead of having to do it in another software. You can just do it all in Final Cut Pro 10, which saves you so much time. And you don't, you don't even have to like actually animate it, which is kind of cool because it's all pre-animated, right? So it's relatively simple. What you want to do is first um, choose if you want to use dark mode or light mode. I personally like using the light mode just because it looks a little more real, but I think dark mode would be kind of cool too. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go with the light mode. So here we have compositing text message light, and you will see that there's different ones. So you have red receipt. So this will show like red. And again, you can change all of the text here. So here we have red receipt light. Now you're probably seeing why is there a black bar and you'll understand that in a little bit. Um, but first what I wanna do is go into positing text. So I'm gonna drag this one here and this guy is just texting. So if I were to push play, he's just on his phone, right? And what I wanna do is go into the parameters and go into the message. So I'm gonna skip it through here. And if I enable, if I just push play, this is what it looks like, right? If you think it's too short, you can just go to the end and just increase its length just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then once you have that set, what you wanna do is don't move anything here, just change the text. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, I think if I'm correct, this is what the other person is saying. So what I'm gonna do is just like that. <laughs> so if you think that the bubble here is too long or too wide, you can actually change that. So in the parameters, you can actually change the color of this. So you can change the color of like, maybe make it yellow or pink. You can really customize this to whatever you want. I personally like it how, you know, default. 
Uh, so we're gonna leave that there. We have bubble opacity, you can change the opacity on that. But for the time being, I'm just gonna lower the height so you can change the height of this. So we're gonna make this around here, I think. And the length is how, well, the length. So you can shorten this or make it longer. It really just depends on your preference. I think like this looks fine. And then the cool thing about this is you can add another, like a receive, um, or you're typing it. So this would be blue. So what you wanna do is go into sent text message. So you would drag this one here above. So I would wait actually a little bit, right? So I, I would probably push play. He's thinking, right? The other person's thinking, okay, just got the message. And now you wanna think about it and reply. So I'm gonna make this longer. And he's probably gonna text back around here with his other hand. So I'm just gonna move this back here and just make it the, the same length of the clip. And then now if I push play, it looks like this, which is pretty cool. So now it will look like he's texting back. So if you go into the message controls and go to sent, we can change this to, um, from in this case, the, the young gentleman here, we can say not yet, but I will right now. And I cannot type today, so <laughs> ignore my terrible typing. Um, not yet, but I will right now with this little smiley face. And uh, again, you can change the color, you can change the opacity, uh, and you can en enable the little tails. If you don't like that, you can turn that off. I think it makes the effect a lot better. So I have that enabled, it's checked by default. And again, you can change the height of this. I'm gonna make this shorter. And um, I think it looks pretty good. So now if you go up a little bit, you have the on-screen controls. So you can change the position of this to the left, to the right. It doesn't really matter there. And you can also change the y-axis and the scale of this particular uh, title here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go into the y-axis and I'm gonna move this down just a, a little bit just so there's enough space here. So once that's set, you can have this enable the animation, whether it's on or off. I think it looks really cool animated, right? You can do movement type, you can do ascending or descending. So it would obviously make sense to do ascending. I think it looks a little bit more real, right? Uh, and you can also enable shift messages. This is what actually allows you to create the, the actual animation. So I'm gonna enable this, um, but here it gives you some a little note here and it says stack message layers in the timeline to create the shifting previous message effect. Use the shift messages checkbox to turn the effect off. So this just pretty much makes it so it shifts up or down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight both of these. I'm gonna right click and create a new compound and I'm gonna name this message too because I already have one named message. And now when you enable that, you're gonna notice that it, the black background actually disappears and you have this going on here. Now, once you create this, if we go back into the titles, you're gonna have the social media, uh, social mega pack here, and that's gonna be the compound messages tool. So when you drag that onto your title, now you can apply a lot more effects on top of that. So if we go into the parameters and we go to the controls here, we can change the opacity. So you can change that, and this will change it for both as well. So if I move it here, you, you will notice that it happens to both of it. Also, because it's a, a grouped clip, and we can change the position of this now. So we can drag this up, uh, or we can move it side to side and move it up and down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually undo this for now. So I'm going to Shift, Command, G. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move this up because this is getting cut off. So I'm gonna go into the first message here. I'm gonna go into the Y axis, which is gonna be in their position. I'm gonna drag this up like that. And then for the second message, I'm going to go into X and, or for the Y, and then just drag that up, just like, maybe like that. Now I'm gonna select both of them and create another uh, compounds clip and name this message too. So now when I go back and push play, it's gonna animate like this, and it looks really cool. So it's gonna, he's gonna think and he's gonna reply back. So now we can go back to the effects, drag the compound messages tool, and now we can actually move this. So we can move this to the right, like that, and you can change the opacity, you can change the offset, like that, on its X, Y, and Z, which is pretty cool, you can do something like this. Now this is something that I really wanted for a long time. Um, and you can do X, so you can do something like that, <laughs> which is really cool, and you can do like a music video with this if you really wanted to. It might take a little bit of time, but since all of this is animated, it will save you a lot of time. Now you'll notice that it's relatively still 
and it's not following his movement. So if you wanted to track this to his hand or his phone, you can do that, but you can't do it with this one. So again, we'll just do with the settings here really quick. We have style controls. You can change the hue here like that, enable that. I think this is saturation. This is the hue here. So you can change that and make it like pink or something. Again, you have camera controls. You can actually create a blur around this edge. So if you go into the, I think it's in depth of, here we go, depth of field, blur amount, we can increase this. But the depth of blur amount will just create like a nice soft blur around the messages. But again, I don't wanna go too in depth with everything that will just take too much time. But I just went over the, I think, my personal favorites in this plugin. Again, there's just so much to count. There's over 500 different elements for effects that you wanna do. So if you found this video helpful at all, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. Be sure to use the coupon code KingPixelPro if you're gonna decide on purchasing this. Until then, peace out.